Good morning. Today's our birthday, which is not of heavy consequence to most of the world. Not even to us. I, I, it's a, it's a, I think it's, um, it, I still have feelings about my birthday, but I think it's the, um, the after effects of the ritual. Because really, in my mind, I know that, um, if the calendar were different, my birthday could be every single day. And we could all have the same birthday every single day. Um, but the calendar is what it is, and so it happens to be my birthday today, which, as I was saying, is not of heavy consequence except for two things. Uh, one is that I get the day off. That's that's kind of a something I've I've done traditionally. That's a tradition I have is I always manage to get the day off on my birthday, for the most part. And since I own my own business right now, I can certainly make that happen. My partners agreed to that. And uh, the other thing is I got a present, or we got a gift, um, from one of our uh, one of our co-species, and that is the possessive man decided that it would be a, a handy gift to give us a disease for our birthday. Um, so we're kind of, well, I don't know, we're going to have to think about the repercussions of that, but one of the most immediate things in my heart is Runt has left our elder pool and gone into the cycle of forgetfulness and remembrance. Uh, so, she's, I, I liked having her influence. I'm going to miss her. Hopefully Milky can kind of pick up some slack. But a lot has changed other than that, and maybe I should be showing you the board while I tell you this, but I'll just kind of give you a quick overview before I go take a shower and everything. <laughs> but, um, uh, there was a volcano eruption. Um, the deserts came in, so Giraffe moved just in time last turn. If she had, she moved one space last turn. I don't know if I even had that on camera, but I definitely entered it into the forum. Uh, from the the savanna space to just kind of an empty space, which is, I guess, just kind of safe ground no matter what. And um, and so then the de the tundra turned to desert, which, along with the volcano explosion, totally wiped out USR local, who is the the white cubes. For those of you who are more visual, the the leader of Funky Town, uh, Funky Town's gone. Uh, all his units are gone, and he is enslaved. Now, it was interesting who he chose to enslave him. He chose the, the hobbit, John, to enslave him, which I think makes good sense. One, um, I, I think, I don't know if he's an heir to or not. But, um, the hobbit, John, seems to, he seems to go for infrastructure advan advancements, um, when given a choice. Uh, he's got a good-looking demography, but he, he seems to, he really likes the infrastructure advancements, which... For those of you who don't know, if you're a slave, if your master advances in infrastructure, then you will as well. Um, yeah, so his choices were either John or uh, Jonathan. Jonathan's doing well too. Not so well now that he got sick, because he got sick also. Um, but why didn't he choose Jonathan? I don't know. Maybe because he felt like it would be too much of a benefit. Uh, Jonathan seems to be the, the commanding leader. He has, I think, two public cards now. I think they're both worth points to him. I'm not sure. I I, kind of, I haven't updated the board. I keep looking over there, but it's not changed. I haven't changed it yet. So um, I should stop talking. I'll go shower, have some coffee, get things arranged, and then we'll check in with things and take our turn. So we're here now at the sculpture park. Um, I just take you inside with us. Long budget. There's an arch. We probably should have gone through there, but I don't really enjoy walking on gravel with bare feet. It's all right, but if I have a choice in grass and gravel, I'll take it. All right, so we're going down here. A year ago, I was here, and they, there was talk that they were closing it down, but then I came back about a month ago, and it turned out that it was still still able to come in. So let's go in. Before we commence with the collective navel gazing, let's take a look at how everyone else is doing. Because really, since last we spoke, um, video wise, I guess not since before my shower, but um, since our last turn, a lot has happened. There were two fairly large calamities which um, 
really shook things up. Uh, let's start with Wolf over here, however. Wolf is it's actually been relatively unaffected by the calamities. However, I think, I imagine he's probably in the most frustrating position. Whatever he's trying to do, he's not been able to do it. He's kind of been uh, the most stagnant. I think he's been drawing cards. I don't think he's getting the card he wants. And... Um, yeah, he's kind of stuck stuck like that. He had he drew some public cards and maybe one or two, I can't remember. And so that just, it, he just put them up for auction. Um which John won, I think the last particular auction here, body paint shell necklaces. We were in the running for that auction. We had a we had runt at the time. Um we would have liked the body paint but not the shell necklaces. Um so it's it's okay. I'm fine that we didn't get that. But so Wolf, you know, he he's storing up. He's something's gonna happen with him. I think he he just needs to get that particular card. I wonder if he isn't trying to just get into Era Two, trying to find an encephalization card, because um, he's certainly not he's not trying to to go for auctions because he otherwise he would naturalize and bring his elder up, but he hasn't done that. So it's a bit later for my earlier intro. Um, I've done actually quite a bit of filming since then, but. Both sets of filming were flawed in their own way. The first, um, I made, I did quite a lot of talking, and I think I, I extended quite a lot of insight. Well, not insight, but I did a lot of talking anyway, into um, about the characters, uh, the cultural entities, and their 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 kind of political relationship, the the triumvirate triumvirate that was um, running the things, um, which was uh, Flush and who else do you remember? Flu Brian. Brian, Flush and Brian and Giraffe and Milky, right? Um, and but then it turns out I got a rule wrong, so I had to redo it. By the time I went to redo it, it had been, like over an hour had passed because I didn't have, I had the day off. I kind of had was open in terms of my time. I mean, I wanted to go on this adventure. We're going on an adventure right now, um, and so the second this what when when I, I took what ended up being my actual turn, I didn't really give much insight. So now. We're going on this adventure, um, about to go through these gates. This is already unplanned. This is not the route we were gonna take. Um, I was walking along this construction area and then there were some uh, cranes up ahead that are actually moving. You can hear them in the distance. We're gonna be moving on, Budge, hang on. Um, and so we had to take this turn off into this gate here. Saw some deer, two baby deer and a mama deer. So I think I choose to consider that auspicious. So on the trip, I will try to recapitulate uh, what exactly happened, and we'll go from there. As we said before, Mr. Funky Town, he, uh, USR local, he has fallen. He is enslaved by the Hobbit over there. You can see how the Hobbit's cube is dominant. Um, but his his uh, his population track is now under control, which should be good for him. And he has the um, he has a couple nice things, uh, two of them being two elders, which is good to have. He has the most elders right now, and he doesn't have to he doesn't have to worry about any of the the geopolitical aspects of the game really. Uh, his his main thing he can do is if um, the Hobbit John creates a metropolis, he can try and hinder John, <laughs> I guess, by putting putting units out. I think that, that kind of gets in their way. Uh, oftentimes, it could, you could starve him out um, or make it harder for John to defend his metropolis. He could do that. Um, I'm not sure if slaves do... I think they do help defend the the metropolis, too. So that's his main... his really only map action. Um, which one reason he'd want to do that is for fecundity decreases. But he could just kind of work on himself and think about himself. I wouldn't be surprised if he didn't go to the Golden Age. I don't know why he hasn't yet. Um, <laughs> I don't know how auspicious that was. That gate back there went down this rather steep hill and then it went to another locked gate. Turns out that this is, I'm, I'm surmising, this is the way to get to that these people get home. I guess that's their driveway. Um, rather large estate, which made me think it was a neighborhood. Um, so, yeah, and I think that that's a good 
kind of analogy or metaphor. Now I'm going another way. I don't know where this goes. Um, a metaphor for what happened with the game. You know, I tried to go back. Tried to find a way out, and then I ended up having to go back the way I came. There's a bunny. Um, that's us. John, he, uh, he's doing all right. He's got the best looking de demography currently. Um, he's got one point in this, the, this body paint shell necklaces. So I, yeah, I think, he, I think the two main powers right now are these two. Um, John and Jonathan. You know, we're not, we're not doing so, like I said before, we're kind of middling. Um, I wouldn't say, I'd say we're in the lower end of middling. Um, but then we do have this card, which is kind of, could, could give us some, some advantages. But point-wise, we've got nothing. So my guess is, and here we are backtracking all the way back to where we started. Not all the way back to where we started. We started at our house. Um, I'm guessing this whole road here is just so that those, those wealthy people in that compound have a way to get out. Uh, which I guess makes sense. They need a way to get out. But did they need to have their, their house so secluded? Um, there's not really any, they don't seem to have any neighbors per se. No one else is attached to this little road. I continue, I just want to show you this real quick. Um, I went through my whole turn and did a whole bunch of videotaping and talking. Then I found out I got something wrong, so I have to redo it. Um, and then right after, right I was, I was getting set to redo it, that thing fell down and crashed on everything. So the calamities of the past turn for, on the game is sort of being mirrored in my own life. And here's their mailbox. So I guess this whole thing was just their driveway. Maybe the reason they don't have any neighbors is because they own all of this and they just haven't extended their fence to include it. I don't know. And once we opted for the pavement, we made it. Some apartments to our left. I would say they're cookie cutter. And a country club to our right. The trail right down the middle. I think we'll stop and talk a little bit about the game after we get somewhere a little more pleasant. So going back to the game, we had one innovation action and we had Runt, Melky, and Giraffe all deciding what to do. Not Runt, I'm sorry, Runt died to disease. Uh, I was really getting used to her. Um, Melky, Giraffe, and, uh, and um, oh, Flush, yeah. So Flush, he wanted to get all War Bunny. That was, that was basically what was going on. A giraffe wanted to fulfill her man and giraffe destiny. Flush thought that was stupid. He didn't think um, having a cutesy name was reason enough to do something. Melky was a little bit more diplomatic. Melky, on the other hand, he wanted to um, get to North America for a couple of reasons. One, he thought, you know, was, he likes to have a, like a long-term goal to kind of guide his actions. And two, he likes going over water. And three, he wanted to sort of uh, allow for more of a balance in the um, Eurasian continent, Eurasian, Australasian area. Um, there being the two, two big forces, one being the John USR local uh, connection, um, and the other one being the, uh, uh, the p possessive, the possessive man, John Bolton. Um, and so he thought, you know, if we could focus our efforts on a, you know, another part of the world, they would be able to kind of keep each other balanced, and that would maybe give um, Wolf Corbett more time to to grow and more space to grow, because he's kind of been in a stagnant position. Um, 
so how did they resolve it? Well, they resolved it by by considering the double granaries and the ritual and um, making a deal with Flush. So basically the deal was Flush wanted to just do a, um, do like we did before before he was even born, I believe. Um, do the, what do you call that, that move? The silverback and just go go all war bunny and have that be the turn. That be the whole purpose of the turn. Um, he didn't really even well, he wanted to he wanted to use the addle addle too, but he was thinking he would give it up and then use it later on, uh, sacrifice himself so that we didn't lose the um, lose the military advantage. It's even it, it's kind of like a it's like a a bomb in a way, you know. Even if you don't use it, you still have it. Um, though if you don't use it soon you know, it's a little different because if you don't use it eventually someone else is going to have it too and then you're no longer going to have that advantage anyway so the the what we actually did was sort of a compromise um giraffe got her elder gain which is what she wanted um milky got the double fecundity decrease which um he felt made us more stable for future growth and giraffe was also behind that um and Flush got a chance, a chance I say because we had we had a potential for chaos. He got the chance to to do a little bit of his war bunny stuff. So how that looked was first there was our our innovation action was to ransack ritual, um, and then we played the addle addle, then the ritual on top of that. Okay, so that gave Flush his sort of chance to to keep the metallurgy advantage a little bit longer. I personally believe that's not gonna stay, uh, you know, but I, I think like John could take it. John could take it and that'd bring USR Local and John both up to metallurgy too. Um, or maybe USR Local, yeah, I think both to two. Um, and so that, you know, cause I think they have two innovation actions. But anyway, it gave him the kind of illusion that that they would have the advantage for a little bit longer. Um, he got to make his attack uh, across the tundra here, since we have hay now, thanks to our recent sickness, we learned about hay. Um, across the tundra to take on a little bit of um, John Bolton, the possessive man, um, which I really don't understand I, I guess it's I guess it's sort of a silverbacky type action like I mean like hey, you want to get tough with me I'll get tough with you though that's not really Flush's way of talking um, he has a little bit of a, a vengeful soul I believe and so he got to do that got to take out a couple people um, and feel like a little bit materially secure because of that though I don't know if that really makes him more secure I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Um, but that was the whole interaction between those three and why things went down the way they did. Now, it could have gone very different. We had a, what, a, a one, a 33% chance that our turn could have just ended and Flush wouldn't have gotten his way at all. And then things would have looked very different. We happened to get another decent roll. I can't say it's a lucky roll because it was, the odds were in our favor, but two thirds chance, that's not a perfect chance. And that was it. Um, so now maybe I should talk about what what the what could have what it could have been. Um, basically, the the decision was very similar, except they took the um, rudders from John's thing and not the ritual. And then how it ended up was the people took the town of um, Notlob uh, Bolton instead of doing the ransacking. Um, which was a little bit more in Melky's favor because it gave gave him the maritime increase. Melky's feeling now with, with the current arrangement that there's still the potential for the maritime increase because we now have ritual on top, um, and it's unlikely that 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 card would get covered up because for long, because presumably, I mean we're presuming USR we'll, we're presuming John will take the um, addle addle because he seems to like infrastructure increases. Um, and then 
you know, someone else is going to uncover that. Uh, probably Jonathan, uh, Jonathan Bolton, the possessive man. So we've made about 20 miles out of town at, we're at uh, Monarch Sculpture Park, which is one of our destinations. Might be our primary one. I have to see how I'm feeling after we're all done. Right now I'm kind of pooped, but we're taking a little rest here. And we just saw cat as in cat. And came over to greet us. This is a really nice place. I'm, I like it. This is just someone's house. Um, and they have a lot of land. And instead of deciding to wall off a garden, they made it open to the public. And I'm sure they've had some issues with that, but it must be rewarding to them enough that they continue to do it. And I'm, I'm, I'm really grateful. Really grateful. Mm -hmm. It's a statue. That's a big ball, isn't it? Big, big ball. It tastes so good. Yeah. You feeling better now? Oh. Yeah, you really wanted to. You really wanted to go back. That bell scared him. But he did just wake up from a nap too. He fell asleep in the trailer. And he woke up. And then we were pretty much here. Come on, Budge. We're gonna go find a giraffe. So we're in the Monarch Sculpture Park butterfly maze. And you see all these shrubs here? These are gonna grow up over time and eventually it will be more of a maze where you can't see where you're going. But if you try to if you try to just follow the path, it is a bit of a maze right now. Um, we're looking around for the giraffe. I know where it is, but I think it would be more fun if my son, who he has a he has a real phobia of sunlight. Actually, he doesn't like to be out in the sun. He's not used to it. We don't we don't get a lot of sun around here. Um, so when it's sunny, he gets a little bit more um, weepy. He's an emotional boy, anyway. But definitely gets more weepy. He's found some rocks.
Well, my son is really having a rough time at this park. I don't know why he doesn't appreciate it the same way I do, but um, it's okay, you know, we don't all like what our parents like. Here's the statue of the giraffe. And so I think what I'm going to do is I, was, I wanted to build a mound here. And I think I'll build a mound out of rocks. And then I think we're just going to go home. That was a total debacle. I apologize. I had I had really, you know, in the 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 stuff I deleted before I had to redo. I really had gone over things in a lot more uh, interesting fashion. Uh, that took a lot of time, uh, partially because I have the day off. I I didn't feel rushed at all, so I I kind of spent some time with the the people and talked about what they were thinking and the the interpersonal relationship between this triumvirate. I had to delete all of that because I had to redo the turn because I made a big mistake. Um, it wasn't a big mistake, but it was it made the turn illegal and so I had to redo it and change things. And so I didn't really feel like talking anymore and I feel like going. I'm going on a big trip today and I think as a consolation for those of you who have stuck with us this far, I'll take you along. Um, we might see something that you find interesting. I, this is the the remainder of this video isn't going to be just a travel log. I think I'm just going to stick to maybe some some key points um, uh, that that maybe relate to the game. Um, so that's 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 what's happening. So there is a there is a and I guess I guess the the reason why I'm bringing that up is um, there is some lemons with with this particular session. There was a lot of catastrophes, right? There was the disease. There was the the desert which didn't actually affect us except it was actually kind of positive um, but uh, oh so so the see my tongue is just like this now I've been talking too much um, so the desertification of my brain happened and then I poured some water on it and then I was able to tell you that I, at the end of that, the video of the mistaken turn, I had the problem of deciding whether or not the, the um, travel footage would go on this video or on the next. Since that video ended up being so long, I decided I, I, I was kind of torn. Now the decision's a little easier because I think with the, the abbreviation of this video due to um, my mistakes and my subsequent not a uh, desire not to talk a lot um, which I, I think I'm ending up doing I think I have time on this video to have the travel stuff at the end here so let's go out and have a great time <laughs> 